simple daily hacks that you guys can use to stay lean. What's going on, y'all? I got one of my cats here, Pharaoh Sphinx, uh, included here in the video. But I wanted to give you guys some quick tips on some things that I do to, to stay lean year-round, sub 10% body fat. Let's get into it. None of this is backed by science. These are just little kind of tricks that I use to help me. Now, if any of you love eating like I do, I've had a very high appetite my whole life. I've always been an athlete. I was an ex-professional athlete, if you didn't know. I played basketball overseas. Uh, played in the Drew League and you did the NBA Combine and all that way back in the day. And although I never made the NBA, right, I was always super, super active in my off-season training during season, right? So my appetite has always been high and my movement level and exertion of energy has always been high. Therefore, now at age 38, I'm still eating a lot. So one thing that helps me keep this thing under control is something as simple as this. If any of you are like me where while you're cooking, you eat, and you're always grabbing stuff and eating, you start to lose track and you don't really know how much you're eating. So a simple thing like holding your horses until you put everything onto the plate so you're aware of the total portions and total food, to me, huge game changer. Because I started kind of counting and paying attention to when I would just pick stuff and eat while I cooked and stuff, and I started realizing very quickly the meals that I thought were maybe 1,500 or 2,000 calories were upwards of three or 4,000, and I was doing this like twice a day, just insane, right? So now what I'll do is I'll cook a steak or two, like a thin little skirt steak or something. I'll get like two or three eggs and crack them, right? The hard boiled eggs. And I'll put everything onto a plate so I know exactly, I know exactly what I'm eating. And I think for many people, um, especially if you're like a bachelor like me, uh, it's something that we don't really think about. But especially if you're really trying to get lean and stay lean, it's really important because out of sight, out of mind, and when you don't portion control, uh, it, it becomes a problem. We eat way too much here in the States. If you go anywhere, right? Like I've traveled the world, I've been in Europe, South America, like uh, they don't eat like we do. Everything that we do is like in mammoth proportions, especially if you're in a state like Texas, right? The supersize this and supersize that. Like a whole liter, two liter bottle of Coke is like what you get in one of those supersized drinks here in the States. It is insane the portion sizes that we eat, right? So that's number one, put everything onto a plate, right? Number two is, I'm mindful, right? So let's say it's a Monday and I know for a fact that I overate, like not even a little bit, like a lot. I make adjustments the next day. I'm either gonna cut a meal off, reduce my caloric intake a little bit, or use that as a great reason to cut food off Monday night, fast Tuesday, resume Wednesday, and get back to normal, right? Because I always wanna keep this even baseline. So I'm making those little micro adjustments and throwing in a little quick intermittent fasting, you know, two or three days a week where you skip your morning meal or just giving it a full 24 to 36 hour fast. You guys have seen my other videos about fasting. Uh, I believe that fasting is amazing. It's good for your body to clean. It gives your digestive system and your body a rest. It gives you time to recover. And like I always tell people, understand that when you get sick, your body wants to fast because it allows the body to focus on itself versus putting all its energy and resources and blood to your stomach and intestines to digest. And since we always consume every couple hours, it becomes a problem. Like that's one thing if you haven't seen from some of the studies that they show from other countries is in other countries they eat, then they don't eat, then they eat, then they don't eat. Here in the States, we're eating all day long, pretty much 24, 7, 365. And that's why we have the issues that we have because our body never gets any rest. So make those micro adjustments, throw in some fasting if you have to, and keep some windows between your meals, right? Drink water in between, maybe have some tea, but make sure that you're, you're eating all in that meal at maybe 8 a.m. You're not touching anything until 1 or 2 p.m. when you eat lunch, and then maybe your final one at 6 if that's a schedule that you follow. Just stop the snacking and the grazing in between. I'm very, very guilty of that, but it's definitely not good for you long term, and it breaks down the body, and you definitely don't want to do that. Um, the only exception, I guess, is maybe if you're one of those bodybuilders who has to throw in all those calories because you're specifically bodybuilding and you're doing that, then that would be the exception to the rule, right? That's a big one. So those are two to start. Number three is I never go to the grocery store hungry. I like to go after my workout, usually in the mornings. Um, and one thing that I can tie to this is to make it a two, two-way kind of point, right? One, do not go when you're starving, right? And number two, I like to go to the market or the farmer's market or whatever it is, and I like to keep my shopping to a minimum. I'm the type, and you know if you're this type too, where if I buy extra of something, I have the tendency to nibble and want to eat more. Versus if I just buy for the day or I buy a limited quantity of something, I'll buy fresher produce and things, and then it'll force me to not overeat 
And then when I do eat, if I do uh, kind of extinguish that supply, I have to go out and buy more. I used to be the one that, that buys in bulk, but me personally, and again, you can comment below if this is you, I just sometimes would overextend and in those days where I would overeat and that one portion I'd end up having two, three or four just because it was there. So having just the food for the day or maybe two days is much better for me personally. And I'd recommend that for many of you who are foodies like me who love to eat because I'm the type that I don't really have any qualms. I was really strict there for eight or nine years where I was like alkaline, you know, plant-based. But before that, and now that I'm kind of back to, you know, still being very clean with my diet, but eating meat and even some animal products, like I'm not one to give you drama over food. Like I'll pretty much try anything, right? And when you're like that, and you know for a fact that if you buy extra stuff, you're gonna eat it, I'd recommend that you only buy uh, for the day and keep it limited, and then make sure that you don't go to the grocery store starving, because then you're gonna make a, uh, you're gonna make some poor decisions, right? The next one is keeping a schedule. So for me, making sure that I eat you know, around the same time every day makes it easy for me. Uh, I, when I get a little erratic with my eating or I don't kind of follow a schedule, it becomes a little bit more difficult for me, right? Um, I think for many of you, like if you work or you're gone all day and you have to follow a specific regimen, then I recommend you cook your meals on the weekends or do whatever you need to do so you can eat during those windows. Because if not, you become ravenously hungry or something happens, you end up cheating, right? You buy candy or you get fast food or some garbage like that and it ends up kind of ruining your results. Because I think really the whole point of this video is too is adding in all these steps and doing these things daily to be sustainable with whatever it is that you're doing. I'm not gonna sit here and preach to you that you should follow a certain diet and do this and do that. And in the future here, in the near future, I'm gonna start giving you guys examples of like the stuff that I buy and that I eat personally uh, but really it's sustainability. When I've been at my leanest and my strongest and my best is when I follow the same routine over and over and I stick with it. When I get away from it is when I start having issues or I have to start really catching up, right? Another thing I'll tell you guys is make it a habit that immediately after you eat, uh, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever it is, that you go for a 15, 20, 30 minute walk. Now that I have the at-home treadmill, when I eat at home, I'll get back on the computer and do some work on the computer and I'll walk for at least 25 or 30 minutes at a you know slow or medium pace right after I eat. I feel that that keeps the blood circulating through your body, it aids in digestion and it keeps you from just sitting. Because I would notice that if I would eat a lot or just eat and then sit and do nothing, it just it wasn't the same as walking and, and moving around a little bit. I feel like it gets through your body better, your body processes it better and maybe when you're sitting it compresses everything and makes it a little bit more difficult, right? So those are just some of the, the basic tips that I can give you guys day to day that I use to continue to stay lean and sub 10%. Anything else you guys wanna add, leave a comment below. Any type of video you'd like to see, let me know and I'll see you in the next one, all right? Peace.